Good morning. Friend. Thank you for pausing with me on this special day as we come together, spend a moment reflecting on our Lenten journey, and again, continue with a prayer of confession for those things in our world that are hurtful and harming our brothers and sisters. I want to read to you today from Matthew 22, verses 34 through 40. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law of the prophets. This is Jesus asking us to put God first in our lives and to care for each other as well as we want to be cared for and as well as we care for ourselves. It is a commitment to share our hearts with others. It is a covenant to continue to pray and work towards greater harmony, greater peace, greater love in our world. The hope that we all hold lies in understanding that when Jesus walked on this earth, when Jesus asked us to love our neighbor as ourselves, Jesus was teaching us how to do it, and Jesus was showing us the way to bring this love and peace to each other. So this morning, as you reflect upon the different things that we have been praying through during this Lent, I want you to continue with your prayers, continue with your lament for the harms and dangers in this world. And I want us to together understand that these are things that we can work towards eliminating, that we can prevent, and that our love and our ability to shine Christ's love through us is all the power that we need to make these changes. Now, I want to read to you a confession written by Howard Thurman as we spend this time in prayer together. So please pray with me. And these are Howard Thurman's words. The concern which I lay bare before God today is my concern for the life of the world in these troubled times. I confess my own inner confusion as I look out upon the world. There is food for all. Many are hungry. There are clothes enough for all. Many are in rags. There is room enough for all. Many are crowded. There are none who want war. Preparations for conflict abound. I confess my own share in the ills of the times. I have shirked my own responsibilities as a citizen. I have been wise in casting my, I have not been wise in casting my ballot. I have left to others a real interest in making a public opinion worthy of democracy. I have been concerned about my own little job, my own little security, my own shelter, my own bread. I have not cared about jobs for others, security for others, shelter for others, bread for others. I have not worked for peace. I want peace, but I have voted and worked for war. I have silenced my own voice that it may not be heard on the side of any cause, however right, if it meant running risks or damaging my own little reputation. Let thy light burn in me that I may, from this moment on, take effective steps within my own powers to live up to the light and courageously to pay for the kind of world I so deeply desire. All this we lift to you, God. Amen. 